The Ten Commandments and the Golden Calf Based on Exodus chapter 19 verses 16 through 25, chapter 20 and chapter 32. God's people have nothing to fear. As they travel in the wilderness, God continues to provide for their needs. God leads His people to Mount Sinai. They set up camp. Moses goes up the mountain to talk with God. When he returns, he has news for his people. Prepare yourselves, for on the third day, the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people on Mount Sinai. On the morning of the third day, thunder rolls across the sky, lightning flashes, then the sound of a trumpet fills the air. This is the signal to leave camp. Stay right beside me. Don't go beyond the boundaries Moses set for us. Moses says if we even touch the mountain, we will die. While the people of Israel stand before Mount Sinai, God speaks from the mountain. He calls Moses up to the mountain. I am the Lord your God. You must not worship other gods. You must not make any idols. You must not use the name of the Lord your God wrongly. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Respect your father and your mother. You must not murder. You must not cheat on your husband or wife. You must not steal. You must not lie. You must not be jealous of other people's possessions. God gives Moses more laws, and when these are written down, Moses builds an altar. He and his people make an agreement, or covenant, with God. The people promise to follow all of the Lord's commands. Later, God calls Moses to come again to Mount Sinai, where he will give Moses the law written on stone tablets. Joshua goes part way with him. Days pass and Moses does not return. When is Moses coming back? Can we go look for him? We don't know when Moses will be back, but you must not follow him up the mountain. He is alone with God. Who knows? Maybe Moses isn't coming back. If he doesn't come back, what will we do? Let's ask Aaron to let us make a statue to worship. Yes, we want a God we can see. Feeling lost without their leader, the people forget God's commandments and their promise to worship only God. They bring their jewelry to Aaron, who melts it and makes a golden statue of a calf. Early the next morning, the people bring their offerings to the altar before the golden calf and worship it. But while the people are celebrating, Moses comes down the mountain with the tablets on which God has written the Ten Commandments. On the way, he meets Joshua. Listen, Moses, it sounds like war in our camp. No, I hear singing, don't you? Moses can't believe what he sees. How dare you cheat God? You promised to worship only God, and already you're worshiping the statue of a calf! Shocked by the sight of Moses breaking the stone tablets, the people stop worshiping the golden calf. What will Moses do to us? Aaron, who made this idol? It's not my fault. The people gave me their gold. I just threw it into the fire and... and out came this golden calf. Then throw it back into the fire! Moses returns to the mountain, kneels to pray. These are a stubborn, rebellious people. Leave me, Moses, so I may destroy them. Lord, please forgive them. 
You promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to bless their descendants. I know they don't deserve it, but if you destroy them, the other nations will think that you can't fulfill your promises. Back in camp, the people pray for Moses' safe return. They hope beyond hope that the Lord will forgive them. But when they see Moses coming down the mountain, they are terrified. Don't be afraid. God has forgiven you. It's Moses! But look at his face! It's as bright as the sun! The glory of having been with God shines on Moses' face. He covers his face with a veil so that the people will not be frightened.